tripping around the sea And then I found some gold in the ground I got the fever inside me The first thing I found was a mine with no name Felt good to be high on the green Cause in the mine you can't remember your name So awesome sauce became the claim no, no. Welcome back to another episode of Empire Gold Mining. We're at an uh, area I haven't been in in, I don't know, fucking like eight, nine, ten years. But I just wanted to show you what we're looking at, all the red hills and stuff here. Nice big lizard. It's about 98 degrees out here today. I actually think this wash right here might be worth sampling. roads go up over there. Looks like there's an old mine up there too. A couple of old mines in this area supposedly. None of them were ever registered. Old, old mines. Over there's Kevin and his girlfriend. I don't know her name, but they're along with us for the trip today. So hopefully we, we get out there and we find a little bit of gold here in a little bit. I'll be back in a little while and make more video for you. I just wanted to show you guys the uh, rock that's in this area. Hard to tell what it is. It does look like it's a lava flow or type of rock. Yep, and it crumbles. Yeah, that's a lava type rock. Pretty easily falls apart. So here's a, this is an old lava flow right here. Nice. It's all the white inside of here though. Huh. So, this created itself when? Years ago. Yeah, but how many years ago? What was the geology like here when this volcano was spewing this lava stream? It was underground? No, it was underwater. Well, that's what I meant, underwater. Oh, okay. I said underground, but it meant underwater. Is it orange on it? Yeah. Probably moss. Uh, huh. Oh, yeah. We're currently actually only a few feet out of the city here, too. Hmm. Well, let me go see what's on the other side of the hill here. And there's an old cinder mine that's right around here, also. You can see why there's an old cinder mine sitting all the cinder out here. Oh, let's see, this little wash over here is a side I always think it might be better to 
example, it comes down out of that there. I was hoping to see some black sands or something over here in this wash where the water flows. It does look like there's some, but I was hoping to maybe see a couple streaks. Oh, I'm sorry if the wind is uh, cutting into the speaker there or anything, but it's a little breezy out today, which is good because it's about 102 out. So that breeze helps a lot. There's a lot of stuff there that could be worked. Hmm. I don't know. I'm not seeing anywhere where I really want to do any sample along here yet, so probably won't do that. Oh, well, this might be a good spot right here, actually. This little bit of bedrock here. I think I might. Yeah, this whole section's a little bit of bedrock. Alright, that works. Well, I'm gonna see if they want to do a little sample here. We'll grab the vacuum and vacuum it up and pan it, see what happens. Never know. No high hopes or anything. Oh, here's another spot. This might be another good spot for sample also. These little cracks and crevices here, we just vacuum them out. And uh, that's very good way for us to judge whether or not there's going to be something worth working out here. It's not a great way, but as you can tell, this section of the bedrock is cut down farther. So, being cut down farther into the dirt, or into the bedrock, leaving these pools. So there could be some good stuff right underneath my feet right here. Anyhow, I'm going to go talk to Kevin and his lady, see if they want to do a little sample there. Before we go farther back to the area, I was thinking about going and found a, uh, what looks like on the map to be a 30 foot tall cliff, or, well not really a cliff, but a uh, dry wash waterfall. Only shows up during the floods, so I'm thinking it'd be a good spot for us to sample out here. That's where we'll probably end up. But I'm going to go talk to them, see what's going on. Find out if we're going to do a little sampling, and I'll get back to you guys here in a little while. Okay, well, I was on my way back over to the truck for a second. And I found this piece of uh, lava-type rock. But look at all the quartz that's sitting in this. It's got a lot of quartz sporadically through this. Which is a very good sign for what we're looking for, which is gold. Gold and something like this would be created in between this red rock and this quartz. So I'm thinking good area to sample would be where I just was looking. So I'm going to encourage them to do a little sampling there. So they were out mostly just for them to have some fun and everything. They're covering the gas for today. So I will uh, be back and find out what they want to do. Talk to you guys here in a little while. There's Kevin in his green shirt. There's another little area that we were interested in looking at where we stopped. They're still looking at the other previous area. Looks to me like there's been some high grading around here. This is now being used by, I don't know what kind of animal, but probably a rodent. Another good sample area right here with this little falls. Once again, pardon me, I burped. We're walking through part of the vein right here again. With all the quartz interlaced in this red lapidary rock. The area where Kevin and his girlfriend are seems to actually have a little bit of copper in it also. So there's copper in this area too. And it is warm down here. Every time you get into one of these little goalies, it's ultra hot. A little bit of the quartz right here, directly on the rock. We still have not left the area that we started in. Still exploring this little area here. Seems like at one time there was a lot of dig go on at one time, but looks like it was all done by hand. And they were possibly looking for Sorry, I stopped for a second. I thought I heard a rock falling to my left. 
So I'm looking for maybe mountain goat or big horn sheep or anything that maybe could be over there. Warm, warm, warm. Here's a contact zone. This is wonderful right here. This stuff right here, this area is like this. Where we go from whatever type of rock this gray here is, greenish gray. We get this uh, quartz is interlaced in there too. Looks like there's a, a nice seam there. But what I was going to show you is how we have two layers here. And that layer in between these two layers, the contact zone there, if there's quartz in a layer like that, a very high probability of finding gold in high amounts. So, looks like this area, if I can get them to haul some equipment out, do a little actual testing, might end up being a good spot close to town, but it's piss hot out here. The only shade you get is these little bushes, which really isn't much. So, I'm going to get back down, see what they say about this area, and we'll be back. There's Kevin running the dry washer. Found a spot that looks good. So we're doing a little bit of a sample. This would be a total of a full bucket, I think, that we're running through. So, there's this lady looking at the uh, rest of what she can find over there. This is an old lava flow. At one time, what was going on here is this was all an inland sea. And when that inland sea was here, this volcano was active. And it was putting out this lava flow right here which stretches all the way back that way. This whole mountain used to be a volcano. So what we're doing is we're uh, looking for any good high grade ore or anything like that in this lava tube that has been exposed to the elements for hundreds of thousands of years. Finding a lot of uh, quartz crystal, a lot of uh, copper, a lot of mica. Don't know what else because if there's any gold or not because we haven't finished up with the dry washer and the test and everything but we will soon Kevin can't hear you <laughs> but that was the area right over here where we checked the first time and the second one was right over there what we essentially did the first time oh the very very first spot we looked at was right right over here on the other side of this hill we journeyed over there to look at that and that and we inevitably just ended up down here at the bottom of the lava flow it just seemed like the most logical area and here we are so we're going to get a little more testing done here hopefully we find something then after that we're going to head up over to this area where it looks like there's a 30 foot dry waterfall and hopefully we have some good luck at that so it's going to be a little loud so I'm going to shut down for now There's another guy out here, he's out here doing a little bit of metal, metal detecting from Oregon. He's up over there, back in that canyon over there. Uh, again, a little tips and pointers where, where to go out along that area. So there's a couple of veins that are exposed to the ground. Rather than him digging all the trash that's out here, so it was a big shooting area for people back days begone. But you know, he was getting a lot of bullet casings and lead pieces. So I told him about where the, the little quartz vein was running along there. About even what this car is from here to there. So hopefully he finds something and he has a good time here in Vegas while he's here for the short time he's here. He said he just started getting into prospecting about two weeks ago. But so far over there we actually found one geode and what seems to be, uh, oh man what are they called? Uh, opals. So, not too sure if it was an opal, if it was just orangish quartz or colorful quartz, but uh, we grabbed them, we'll bring them home, see what's going on. But, look right over there, looks like an old claim post, but it's not rock stack.
This is where we found some other crystals and such. So this is a good area for crystals, definitely. Hopefully we know there's a little bit of gold here in a few minutes after we finish up with all this test that we're doing. So. I'll get back to you guys in a little while. We might be heading over to the waterfall area soon. We're still out looking for the waterfall. We just stopped on the road to give a little walk up the hill to see if there's anything we can find. Because I'm not sure if we're on the right side of the mountain or not. So, hopefully I can get a good view by the time I get to the end of this little bit of a road here. And I will hopefully know if that little 30 foot waterfall is back here or not. Hmm, there's some old, old tarts. You know what that is? Anybody know what this is? Just take a wild guess. Nobody. If anybody knows what it is, let me know. So I could easily tell you what this one item is. Okay, if nobody's figured out what it is yet, it's a reflux for a moonshine still. What is doing out here? I'm really not too sure because I don't think anything to be out here making moonshine. No water or anything. It doesn't make sense. But I'll leave that here. There's a lot of uh, looks like mining trash along this road, so we might be on the right road. No, here in a minute. See, I think the area I'm actually looking for is on the other side of this peak here. So, there was a little split in the road back there, so I figured I'd park, make a little walk up here to see, see if I see anything. But, uh, see all this Choya, or Chola, or however you want to pronounce it, that kind of stuff seems to tend to grow in very highly mineralized areas. So, because one sign that says you might be in a good mineralized area when you see Choya. Another plant that likes mineralized areas like this is one called Milk Thistle. And it's kind of like a stick, a bubble, and a stick, and a couple more sticks coming off of it. They don't really have much more to them. But, whew. well, I don't really want to walk too much farther up. Looks like it could be the right area. It could not be. But, I'll have to get in the car. Drive up the road a little bit. Look at all this old trash. Old cans and bottles out in this wash. So, it means it probably is an old mine back at the end of this wash. Or holy crap, you know, I think there's a mine right in front of me right here. I think that's a giant tailing pile. Oh, it looks like a walk up there. It might be worth it for that too. This has got to be a reason why there's all this trash in this area too. So I'm going to take a walk up there, see what's going on. Let you guys know. Maybe I'll send Kevin up there. He's the mountain goat. But they're back that way a little ways. I'm going to go get them. Let them know that that's there. See if he wants to give a hike up. And then we'll let you know what happens. Okay, everybody, welcome back. I just wanted to show you <clears throat> this piece of, uh, I don't know if it's slag or if it's silver or lead or really what it is, but I looked down at the tire next to the truck and there it was sitting. So I'm going to bring it back to Kevin and everybody and show them. So, that, and we're pretty sure we found some rubies. Hey, let me see that red rock you found. Oh, wow, that one's cool. Oh, look at that. Isn't that cool? Yeah. Oh, that is awesome. Oh. That's cooler than the other one you found, whether oh, it's silver Lord. or gold or... Isn't that cool? Holy cow. Metal. That is worth some freaking money. I oh, like yeah, I know people that'll buy that one. I like that. Oh. 
there's a little red that, one. Look at that. That piece got broken off of it. Yeah, I'll go back and look at the back. Here's that one. Red quartz or a ruby, one of the two, or garnet. Yeah, Isn't that cool? I started yeah. walking towards him. And he just saw it sitting yeah. there, huh? Yes, yeah, a good watch for uh, crystals for sure. Yeah, it's right over here. I found it. I found it. I found it. And if, we, if there's any money in any of these specimens that we picked up, then it'd be worth posting a claim out here just for collecting of that kind of stuff. Isn't that cool? Because this here, that could I be. Was like this one here could be like a hundred and some odd dollars, you never know. Oh, yeah. right over there. Right over there. Huh. See the white? Yeah. That's where it was. Right, right next to that one? Right next to that one, right there. It looks like that's got something a little bit in it, too. Yeah, I think being out here with uh, in the winter with some, with some washing materials and stuff, and there's got to be gold in this stuff also. I would have to yeah. guarantee it was there. So. Yep. Okay, everybody, I just wanted to show you the area that we were trying to get to the whole time, which is a gradual step down, about 30 feet or more, step down wash. Um, we found a whole lot of quartz and what looks like turquoise out over here in those tailing piles. So somebody out here was working it for supposed gold prospect is what it was listed as. So, but we might come back another day and go down, down in there and do a little work in there. But we've got some rock samples to bring home and crush. We're gonna crush those up, and see if we get anything. Some some dry washings that we did around the corner. But there's another little dig in right down there. Probably one over there too. Whole area is dotted with them. Out that way is, uh, I think it's Nelson. What is that, Nelson over there? Oh, I think that's Nelson. There's that big, big uh, solar power plant. Well, see you guys later. Head him back to the house, I think. I gotta find out what we brought home, right? This is the back in the second hole, right? Yeah. Might as well fill my bucket of rock up with, uh, nothing. Okay. This is the stuff that we were dry washing out of that one hole, right? Yeah. Yeah. With all the gems we found in this area, hopefully there's something in this. Um. I don't know, it's like, oh, easier when I get it under here. It's definitely black sand in there, though. That's a neat looking rock. Oh yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. It points into the other bucket. 
At least you made it in the bucket rather than through the hole. <laughs> I could not believe I did that. Yeah, it was funny. I couldn't help but start cracking up when that happened, because if I was trying to do it, I couldn't have done it. No. There's a lot of black sand right there, that's for sure. What is that piece of right <laughs> Flower. A little yellow flower. Oh. I, at first I thought you meant a little piece of flower gold. Yeah. Little flower. i get the rest of this in there real quick. Oh, okay. In there. I figured most of the good stuff in it was in the bottom any of the pan anyhow from the vibrating right home. As much as it was nice vacuuming that stuff up, and it was down there near sort of bedrock, but not really. Yeah. I don't know that there's going to be much in there, because I didn't see much that resembled it. had more of the other stuff in it, but, you know, we definitely have black sand in there. Black sand, but no gold. I don't know yet. I'm going to get it a little cleaner. Well, there's definitely something in it, but I don't know if it was gold in it. Now there's a piece of something. Oh, it's not moving. That's a piece of silver or lead. Hard to tell without. It looks more like lead, but who knows? Yeah, it's lead. I think I squished it. I thought I saw a small plate. It's definitely more of that lead or silver. Yep, no gold flakes in that one. Yep. Probably not in this one either, since they both came from like 10 feet away from each other. Yeah, you never know, but you're probably right. So yeah. let me get her home and yeah. take care of. Oh, there you all go, right. everybody. That's all we got was all a couple right, places. Lead. Hope you all enjoyed the show today.